guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be looking at the new uh super saiyan goku that's officially named sh figure arts Go the legendary super saiyan let's just call this uh frieza saga super saiyan the goku from now on so this figure really looks good it actually reminds me of the new of the new super saiyan trunks that's coming out i no, i think it already came out so the new super saiyan trunks it, it reminds me of it it's solely because of the legs the little gap right here if you guys can see it reminds me of that and then it looks really really good i'm guessing this is a three point Oh, body, which is probably not. I actually, my new guess is that it's it's a three point five body because look at those legs; those are beautiful. Oh, uh, there we go. Those legs are beautiful. Look at that. So yeah. Uh, let's look at the second photo. He looks really, really good. Kind of, he actually, I think SH Figure Arts really captured what Goku really looked like in this series. And let's compare him to a few others. The first one being this Tamashi's Nations, this Awakening Goku. And this, if you guys are wondering, this is not a 2.0 body. This is a 1.5 body mold. And it looks actually a lot like the 2.0. And it looks... This figure was good for its time. But if you compare it to this... Yeah, this just solos. If you compare it to this, it's just crazy. And uh, the new exclusive that just came out just ruined this figure and they just put it in the trash basically so let's compare it to this let's compare this to this <coughs> so now this figure is not a 1.5 body I it's a it's a, either a 2.5 or a 2.0 body and it looks good it goes with that demoniacal fit that original super saiyan blue kit that demoniacal fit released it goes with that but um uh, it's outdated already after like a few minutes of releasing it it's already outdated and people are tired of just exclusives coming out left and right left and right all of them just going to comic cons conventions it's annoying so that's why they released this wait no not this this beauty right here this oh this reminds me of um uh, a panel uh, that I saw in the manga. And it reminds me of those Super Saiyan 10 edits that some people put on on YouTube and on TikTok. It reminds me of that. It's just amazing. And it also comes with the Kamehameha, with the Kamehameha effect, it seems like. And they're actually now trying harder it's kind of like the Super Saiyan 4. Um, Times 10 coming me up. Feet just blue. So, um, yeah, basically, this is a really, really, really beautiful figure. And let's compare it to one more. Actually, actually, two more, actually. So, let's put it to over here. Now, what I think we could do is maybe... This comes out in November. This one comes out in 
early December. So, once it comes out in stores, and whoever pre-orders this gets it, you can get this one in stores and swap the heads with this one. Then that would be crazy cool. As that's literally a free custom right there. And this figure I've been so hyped about. And then let's compare it to one last figure. The full Dookie. The full power Super Saiyan Goku. This figure right here. Look at the face. It looks kind of trash to me. Compared to this. This beauty right here. Look at that. It's so man. It's so. It reminds me of the manga. And it's so beautiful. <laughs> I've just been hyping. Compared to this. Like what is this? Let's see what else. Like, what is this? I don't I don't have any SH figure arts. That's all I have to say. And uh, that's why I'm showing you these pictures right here. But look at that. And now... And one thing you could do... There's this windy hair kit on Kong on the 5k toys uh store there's this windy hair kit there made by Kong Studios you could put that on this Goku right here beautiful Goku and uh yeah looks so amazing And, uh, these are my thoughts on the new Goku. See you guys later. See ya.